Good morning, Grizzlies. You are now tuned in to the bu -bu 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 Bruce Randolph Morning Announcements. Grand Risings, everyone. Today is Monday, th May 3rd, 2021, and I'm your Dean of Culture, Mr. K, coming to you in a Zoom room near you for now to deliver your school updates and drop some daily knowledge. Now, there are multiple worthy causes and observances that occurred during the month of May, and I want to spend each week of this month recognizing and highlighting a different one. To start the month off, I want to focus on the fact that it is National Teacher Appreciation Week. Now, teachers always remember to smile, even when they have piles of homework to correct, hundreds of lessons and activities to prepare, and an overloaded inbox with dozens of emails to check and respond to. They support us beyond the classroom. They listen to our problems, provide a shoulder to cry on, a hand to hold, and give great advice to tackle the upsetting situations in our lives. They have the ability to leave an everlasting impression on so many of their students. This week is the time to say thank you to the exceptional teachers you know. Take a moment and reflect on the teachers in your life. Who influenced your life? Who is making an impact today? Let teachers past and present know you value them. Today I want to share with you all a piece of President Joe Biden's proclamation recognizing Teacher Appreciation Week and the value that teachers have played in our society during this pandemic. As the proud husband of an educator who continues as First Lady to teach writing at a community college, I have seen firsthand the dedication, selflessness, and vision of our nation's educators. They play so many different roles. They are mentors who guide with creativity and care, advocates who fight for students' needs, role models who help students dream and dare more boldly, and leaders who tirelessly support the families and communities that depend on them. Every day with every student they reach, educators build the future of our country, and we are grateful for their commitment to our shared future. This National Teacher Appreciation Day and National Teacher Appreciation Week, we honor the service and passion and celebrate the immeasurable contributions of our nation's educators and schools from coast to coast. Throughout history, America's educators have risen to unprecedented challenges. Over the past year, with our country facing a cascade of crisis, educators have risen to this challenge with care and creativity, overcoming disruptions in their own lives while offering unwavering support for the students' well being and academic progress. Educators serve both as facilitators of learning and as the technology support for their students, getting them up and running with access to fully remote learning. They often worked late into the day to support hard to reach children and took their extracurriculars, their students love and adapted them for remote and hybrid learning. Our teachers even found new ways to leverage technology platforms to coordinate with parents as partners in learning, keeping a close eye on the developments of their students and building community by moving music rehearsals and sport practices online. As this pandemic has shined a bright light on the inequities that persist in our schools, educators have also fought for the tools and resources their schools need to bridge gaps and ensure all children have what they need to succeed. Other school staff and administrators have also stepped up in our time of need with bus drivers, bringing hotspots to areas with no wireless internet, food service staff preparing meals for students who might otherwise go hungry, and counselors helping students and parents cope with trauma. Education is the one field that makes all others possible. Every one of us has been shaped by someone who inspired our curiosity and helped us find our confidence, who guided us to think more clearly and pushed us to strive for better. On National, Appreciation, on National Teacher Appreciation Day and during National Teacher Appreciation Week, we remember the tremendous debt of gratitude owed to educators everywhere who helped find us as individuals and as a country and to all that they are doing to light the way forward for our families and our communities. Now, attention sixth grade students, starting this week, Mr. Hole would like you to start returning your heart rate monitors to the school. You can drop these off to Mr. Hole or the main office Monday through Friday between the hours of 7.30 a.m. and 3.20 p.m. Mr. Hole would really appreciate it if you would be able to return your heart rate monitor this week. 
This is for both in-person students and virtual students. Thank you. Now make sure you're following the Bruce Counseling page on Instagram. Always feel free to DM the page with any questions you might have. Now, special announcement for our juniors and our seniors. Despite everything that's been going on this school year, we're gonna make sure y'all get a prom this year. So now it's gonna be on May 8th from 7 to 11 p.m. here at the school. No ticket purchases required. Simply give your name at the door and tickets for food and for prom will be free. No outside students will be allowed into prom. This is for Bruce students only. Now I have to make a personal apology to all you Grizzlies. I was not able to make the Bruce Values Awards raffle happen last Friday during lunch. So I'm gonna do it today. Make sure you're following the school page on Instagram at always a grizzly and I will be selecting five students in middle school and five students in high school who have been nominated by their teachers for exemplifying our school's core values. And for lunch today, our fantastic nutrition team will be preparing broccoli uh, cheese baked potatoes with baby carrots or chicken nuggets with broccoli. Now here's a much needed reminder, Grizzlies. I know this year has been a struggle and that a lot of you don't like wearing masks or having to maintain social distance, but I need to remind you that it's a two-way street. You wearing your mask does not only protect you, it protects myself and all the staff and other students in this building. When you wear your mask under your nose, on your chin or around your neck, you are not wearing your mask correctly. And the message that might be interpreted by others is that you don't care about the welfare of everyone here at Bruce. Same goes for maintaining your distance, whether that's in the halls, outside or on the bus. You should not be closer than three to six feet from anyone in the building at any time. You should not be high-fiving, holding hands or touching period. Now your teachers have been extremely tolerant of students who have chosen not to follow these health guidelines, but we really wanna finish the school year strong. Please encourage your classmates to care enough to do these small things. Otherwise, you and your cohort might get called out in the hall to practice and start over on your mass breaks. You don't wanna be that group that has to go on their entire mass break again because somebody in your group wants to wear their mask under their nose or wants to walk too close to their friend. These are rules that everyone in the building are being asked to follow. So let's keep each other accountable. Otherwise, we will start giving lessons to students on how to wear a mask or how to walk appropriately in a group. But hopefully we won't have any issues like that because there's only 19 more days until summer vacation. So let's end on a positive note. I hope nothing but great things happen to you today, Grizzlies. This is Mr. K, signing off until tomorrow. Peace.